All right, taking a look at shares of Disney, since we're speaking of streamers, streamers, we're seeing that it's trading to the upside here, up about one and a third of a percent. It's a busy time for the Magic Kingdom. Disney execs are taking part in a media investor conference today. They showed off their brand to advertisers in their upfront presentation on Tuesday. Now, streaming giants are pushing back against a tough macroeconomic environment that has them cutting costs to push profitability. Consumers are dealing with subscription fatigue and higher prices as the media giants battle it out for dominance. So what is currently setting Disney apart from the rest? Well, for more on this, we turn to Ivan Feinseth, Tigris Financial Partners Chief Investment Officer. Good to have you on the show here. We know that, that you are a, you know, a, a Disney bull here. So give us your base case in how you think Disney is faring and how it's going to set itself apart right now. Simple. Content is king and Disney is the king of content. And it's the power of their content that has driven this dramatic uh, rise in subscribers from the initial zero when they launched in November of 19 to surpassing Netflix across you know the combination of all their subscribing services, all their subscription services. And it's about the power of their content. And then Disney is best positioned to benefit further from the power of their content. It drives park visits, light product licensing, and uh, all of the other services and products that they sell. And we've got a couple of the, the brands up there as well. There was a heavy focus, especially on sports. We saw them rolling out a lot of ESPN celebrities at Upfronts. Talk about that big shift that we saw, because we didn't see a lot of actors at the Upfronts, but we did see this huge showing from some of the sports brands. Well, I mean, live sports is a powerful driver of, of viewership because you, you want to see it live. You want to uh, engage in it live. And then they also have great commentary shows that in, involve further engagement and also online engagement. So they have, uh, I think, the industry's best content and the industry's best platforms for it. They also have uh, a big push on local news, which really connects with people and then drives further interaction onto their platform. So I, I think just on all fronts, Disney has such a, a powerful presence and um, incredible technology that's behind what they do. And I think the stock is incredibly cheap. And if you listen to the earnings call last week, certainly the parks are strong. Cruises were a bright spot. And all of the Disney engagement just continues to drive further Disney engagement. So I want to ask you about content because we did see, you know, a lot of reality stars. We saw Kim Kardashian, Ryan Seacrest at, at these upfronts. Not a lot of actors. You also have, of course, the, the writer's strike and concerns about that as well. How much of that is going to factor into some of sort of the cost cutting and strategic spending for Disney? Well, the writer strike is going to have an issue. I, I think it gets resolved relatively soon. But um, uh, they, they did show a, a lot of content. They didn't have the actors there, but they have um, a show, you know, featuring uh, the second season of a show featuring Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. They have the second season of Loki. They have a lot of fan favorites and the power of the Mandalorian and Disney that has um, driven the launch of other shows that they, you know, including Obi-Wan and Andor. So they have a lot of powerful content that has strong fan bases. So I think that that will continue. And I was very impressed with the uh, lineup that they have. And I, I really love Disney content personally as well. And I have to ask you about um, advertising, obviously an issue that a lot of streamers are facing with. And then, of course, Disney has also the linear TV mm -hmm. aspect as well. But Disney ad sales chief Rita Farrow said, quote, the advertising business is at the doorstep of a massive transformation. What is Disney going to have to do to really get more market share when it comes to ad spend as people are being more strategic here? Well, I mean... Digital advertising spending does provide advertisers with the best ROI and it's measurable ROI. So, uh, and it's the ability to, be, you know, target, laser target uh, the potential customers that they want. And I think those are all powerful drivers. And um, you're going to continue to see increasing spending on digital based advertising. And it's not going to believe it's going to really slow down. And I think it will pick oh, well, up significantly. And we've been talking about sort of Disney Plus and the sort of it used to be the fight over subscribers and then it's the fight over content as well. How well positioned is Disney versus some of the other players in this space when you look at, say, a Netflix or an Amazon Prime as well? Well, I think there are there is great content across all of the streaming services, but I think that Disney has the best content. 
and the broadest content and uh, connects with its fan base in multiple levels. And again, they are best positioned to benefit from the halo effect of their content. And I think that's the real power of their, their content. And it's interesting because we, we talked about the news space as well and saw them honing in on live local news. When you look at what's happening with the media landscape, what do you think of that move? And really, what is Disney planning in terms of how this fits into the broader landscape? When you look at, say, a Twitter or some of these other ways that, you know, can, people are really consuming news and media differently. Well, there's no just one platform. Everybody uses multiple platforms. But I mean, local news is a, a powerful in engagement tool for people because Everything is local to an individual. So I think that's important. Sports, everybody has their favorite teams, especially in college sports. They have a big presence in college sports. Um, so it, it, I think that they have it going on in almost every aspect. Now, profitability is important, and they have invested a ton in content, and they will continue to do so. And they, they recently indicated about the need to optimize their content, which I, I believe means focusing more on shows that have the bigger viewership base and, and less on shows maybe that are less popular, but and hone their um, their content, which you know every business does. But I still say that they are best positioned to benefit from the content they have and they have the best content. And certainly when you see, when you, when you take a look at that content and all the different spin-offs available, certainly a lot of endless possibilities there for Disney. A big thank you there. So much the so. Mindset of Tigris Financial Partners. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me this morning.